It has been a long road to get cameras rolling on this film. I started pre-production meetings in the fall of 2009 in a Borders bookstore. Yeah, that long ago. Since then, the main question I am constantly asked is, why Hamlet? I've been asked that at almost every stage of this production. I guess many think that a Northern Rappo shouldn't, couldn't do Hamlet. In a class I taught on Native Americans and media, I mentioned possibly showing clips of my Hamlet movie, to which the immediate response of one of the white students was, what makes it your Hamlet? He sounded almost offended. I guess that is part of the answer to the question, why Hamlet? From pretty much the inception of the medium, Native Americans have been depicted in films. Slots sang the nickel ring on moviolos that sputtered the image of befeathered and beaded Indians, dancing across the viewer for the entertainment of white audiences. Since then, the image of Native Americans have almost always been the providence of white people and have been frozen in the sepia haze time warp, where the only acceptable view of Native Americans was the feathered and beaded variety, and has been the only accepted representation of Natives in film since. Such was the impact that today even Native artists continue to churn out stereotypical imagery, masked as deconstruction. Native Americans have had to rebury the past over and over to simply be allowed to deal with and interact with the present times. But many natives are never allowed that. The image of the Old West's Indian continues to reach out and hold back native tribes, people, politics, programs, and artists, and tries to keep them forever in that sepia haze of yesteryear. Dealing with the dead Indian is easier than dealing with the living natives, because you cannot dismiss native voices, presence, power, and rage as easily as the dead Indians. In a lot of ways, the fight for the American frontier has never really ended in the minds of many so it becomes that the only good Indian is the dead Indian, which is why they hang on to their mascots and logos, which can be seen as their prize for what they think is the winning of the American West. This becomes just another part of the answer to why Hamlet. While watching the DVD of the Kenneth Branagh version of Hamlet, I heard Branagh mention something in the introduction of the movie. He stated that the full text, full play version of William Shakespeare's Hamlet has never been put on film for a movie. And he stated proudly, smugly actually, and never will be again. My first thought was, bullshit. My next thought was, I'm going to do one. So how do I make my version stand apart from the many other versions of Hamlet that have come and gone? Simple, cast Native American actors. Using native actors removes too many expectations that are attached to a project such as this. Initially, I thought it would be funny to see native people speak in Elizabethan English, but the more I thought about it, the more I enjoyed the aspect of subverting expectations of both what kinds of movies a Northern Rappo director can do, which is something that I'm always trying to do, and to subvert the expectations of a, quote, Native American Hamlet movie, unquote. No, to adapt it to the Arapaho culture and set it in the old times is grossly expected, and keeping the Elizabethan dialogue would challenge the notions that natives do not always have to wear beads and feathers, or be in reservation grief porn dramas, or wacky comedies to be seen as people. Hamlet is set in contemporary but vaguely futuristic settings so we can get away with the dialogue and monotonous costuming, where the tone has more of a political intrigue crime drama feel. Another idea I enjoyed was this. Since Native American cultures have been assimilated and appropriated for over a century for movies and media, what if a Northern Rappo director appropriated something from English culture? And why not the greatest literary play? Which becomes yet another part of the answer to the question, why Hamlet? I've decided to shoot on digital video and using DSLR cameras to give it a more immediate documentary feel. I will work to stay away from shaky cam though. Monologues can be, but not necessarily, directed at the camera. Addresses via YouTube or Vines or other ways 
Also, I hope to steer clear of the uppity Shakespeare cadence that many actors tend to adopt when reciting Shakespeare's prose. In this movie, we are not reciting, we are conversing. And in the scenes I have shot so far, I feel that we have been successful in doing that. We will shoot in the Cinema Veritas style a la Godard or the Dogma 95 people using available lighting and found locations. The look of the costume should be slightly militaristic, a lot of black and formal corners and ribbons, but it should also fit in with a contemporary sort of style or timeless or ageless style. I have thought long and hard about this adaptation and feel it is a good match for my feature film directing debut. As stated before, I've been working on this since 2009 and I'm glad to finally be able to put some of my Hamlet ideas before a camera. I'm trying to shoot as much as I can budget free, which seems crazy and counterintuitive. Why make a movie with no money? Don't worry, money has been spent and all comes out of pocket because I believe in this film. Everyone so far has volunteered their time and talents to the creation of this truly unique project that I have not ever seen in native media before. It is a community volunteer project the first of its kind. It is about making art that matters beyond the monetary. At some point I'm sure I will need to seek outside funding, but funding should not be the priority here. The essential creation of art should be. Naive, yes, but we live in a digital age where we see short films made for things like YouTube and Vimeo all the time. The cost, of which I'm not ignorant of, must come from the pockets of the directors or via crowdsourcing. It is a conscious decision to try it this way precisely because it is difficult. Art should be a battle. Making art should be a fight. You need to defeat it to get your message out there. You have to destroy one incarnation of native representation first before you make a more contemporary accurate one. In between, you have nothing. My Hamlet will emerge from that nothingness. If successfully made, it could change the way movies are made altogether. Can you imagine just picking up a camera and pulling all your friends together and really creating something artistic? And I think it will change how people look at and use Native actors because they're always used to seeing Natives as reservation-born people or of the Old West, but never as something beyond actors that can take on Shakespeare. I think it'll change the game immensely. I truly believe that. Artists should be willing to be uncomfortable and out of step with popularity because you retain an authority of what you create that no one can buy away from you. I also do this as a challenge to the Native American community that art cannot be and should not be tied to commerce. That the pay for play attitude we have now is what is holding us back in creating real art that matters with an emphasis of message over the monetary. I believe we can do this as a community and I'm proud of the folks that have come along and rendered service for this movie so far. It has done a great deal for promoting this image of a contemporary native community that thrives in today's society. And that is another big piece to the answer of the question, why Hamlet? The last piece is authority and expertise. Authority and expertise, like the depiction of native, has been the providence of whites. This has been used in devastating ways to keep natives from speaking on their own behalf. The ownership, authority, and expertise of Hamlet by Anglo cultures were loath to have it appropriate in a way which is the greatest and best irony this film can provide. For so long the imagery and representation of natives have been appropriated by Anglo cultures that this Hamlet film simply aims to reverse that. Justice wants to put a very different face on literature's most famous drama and by doing so, even subtly so, raise a new voice in how Native Americans choose to represent themselves in the modern world. Because we are doing something very unexpected with Shakespeare, of which many adaptations by other races have come before, and with Hamlet specifically making it into a movie where you have no choice but to accept the Native Americans on screen as contemporary and as part of Native society at large. Because after all the failures to get an accurate representation on the big screen, after all the unheard voices yelling in circles on the pay for play native art and cinema reservations, after all the failures to break through in the Hollywood mainstream to get a contemporary view of Native Americans, the question then becomes, so why not Hamlet? <laughs> 